So I'm Greg. And I am Rob. And today we've got a couple things we're going to talk about. First off, we have this awesome grinder from the guys over at Hand Ground. It is the Hand Ground grinder. The Hand Ground, Hand Ground. Yeah. It's, it's a beautiful, it's pretty. It is, it's a beautiful ceramic burr grinder. Just fantastic design and ease of use. As, as Greg is gonna demonstrate in just a moment when he's done doing that. <laughs> because it's fantastic. We also have this awesome coffee from um, from us. It's a Admiral Blend, it's a Sumatra Costa Rica currently. Um, this is actually the first, the first coffee that we put out on the market. And it's the longest running blend we've done. Uh, it changes a little bit. It'll always be an Indonesian coffee and a Central American coffee. Uh, right now, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's um, it's sort of in that like full city plus realm. Um, the Costa Rica is a little lighter. The Sumatra is a little darker, and it does a nice little little thing where it. <laughs> You know, it, the solubility might be a little different because, you know, a darker roasted coffee is going to be a little bit more soluble than a lighter roasted coffee. But it blends well. It's beautiful. I like it. I drink this every day. <laughs> so with the hand ground, tell us a little bit about how this thing works. Yeah, so it um, it is three separate components. Um, so this comes off, the main chamber comes off. Grounds end up in here. Here's your lid. Here's the one weird thing for anybody that's thinking about getting one. The lid does not go on normal way. You think like righty tighty, lefty loosey. It's the opposite for this. So um, I was having some trouble. Yeah, with that. so that's a little. Even with the sticker. Yes, right. And I left the sticker on there um, as instructed when you open the package. But um, that's the one odd ball thing about this. A couple things that I really like is it is, so you're at four, so it's super easy to adjust. Boom. Um, so one through eight and then there's in-betweens, but uh, if you go to one, that's a really, really um, fine grind looking at like espresso. Uh, your twos and threes is around your AeroPress, four, five, six. Um, you're looking at uh, pour over devices from V60 up to Chemex and then your seven and eights, um, your French presses, uh, cleaver coffee. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so it's super easy to adjust for whatever grind you're going to do. On the side, it has these little uh, bars that tell you uh, the approximate uh, grams of coffee that you're putting in there. So it goes by twos. That's so cool. Yeah. So I have yet to actually use this. Um, I prefer using a scale for consistency and accuracy, but that's a pretty amazing feature that uh, you don't see with other hand grinders or any grinder or really any grinder um, and the thing that I truly dig about this uh, so one it has a super sticky pad so it sits real well um, the handle is this beautiful like wood it's super wow, I, I mean it's sweet like, that. that is awesome yeah it's a really nice detail that they threw in there um, it's heavy it's solid uh, the bottom is glass this is plastic and then uh, just the, I mean, a wide top for your hand and just ease of, of grind is, it's, it's super sweet. I, I have quite a few grinders, um, <laughs> as you should have multiple grinders Absolutely. when yeah. you just like coffee. So, um, this was a whim purchase. I bought it strictly because I was going on a road trip. Yeah. And, um, I made the decision that I needed to have a grinder for that particular road trip yeah. and nothing else. Um, so I bought this and I uh, am not disappointed so at some, all. Something I just realized uh, at home, my uh, mother-in-law bought me a filter holder for my Chemex. Yeah, yeah, I have one of those too. It's, it's the hand ground filter holder. Yeah. I guess uh, they, they yeah. were like just distributed it on Amazon or something like randomly yeah. and, and it for Christmas last year, I opened it and I was like, oh cool, hand ground. Yeah. Um, and I just remembered that. Nice. Kind of kind of a bizarre, like, <laughs> anyways. <Yeah. laughs> 
So yeah, hand ground. This thing's super awesome. Mm -hmm. I, I like the fact that it's it's kind of hefty. Yeah. It's, it's like weighty. Yeah. Like, the one thing I don't like about the skirting and like some of the other hand grinders is they're a little light, and so they're like flimsy, you know. And you're like trying to hold stuff down. Like this is this is heavy. Yeah. It has like good weight to it. Yep. And so yeah. Load them up, man. Let's load it. So we're gonna do 21 grams in uh, to 320 grams out. It's kind of like my go-to like um, coffee recipe for the V60. Also, this scale is awesome. <laughs> I could review this scale. Um, it's down to like 0.1 grams versus ours, which is just down to one gram, plus or minus a couple. <laughs> it has a timer. The Hario scale. I mean, it's 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 really amazing. It's it's making my heart really. Like, yeah. I'm gonna have to buy one. It, if I'm not mistaken, they Hario may have been the first like brewing scale. I don't. I mean, I'm probably wrong. And if anybody that is um, a stickler for facts, if I'm wrong, I'll buy you a cup of coffee. <laughs> so, but I mean it. The company is, is you can't go wrong with They're that. They're dope. Every, really everything can. they make is perfect. Have you seen the new like carafe that's like metal? They just came out with like an insulated carafe. Which makes sense, but yeah. I have not seen that yet. They have so. all this beautiful glass stuff for tea and coffee yeah. and like I'm sure everything else. They probably have holders for marijuana. I'm sure they do. Every <laughs> every glass company anymore, like that would make sense. You just see it. But they've got this beautiful metal carafe that just like is amazing. Yeah. It is so freaking sweet. Mm -hmm. And I want one now because I love, I'm a Harry of fanboy. Yeah. The thing I like about the company but also dislike, um, pros, ease of use with everything that they come out with. Cons, everything is in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love, Luckily, like, I do not need to know how to speak or read Japanese to get this to work. Yeah. So like, that's a pro. But when you're looking at their website, their actual website, good luck. Yeah, I, I think it's funny when when you open up the V60 box, it's like, it says, Hario V60, yeah. everything else Every is in Japanese. <laughs> you like pull the box out, you're like <laughs> looking at the, the thing, like um, there's stickers on the, the glass and yeah. it's all in Japanese. There might be like a thing that says warning. This but is then true. you can't really read the warning because it's also in Japanese. It probably just says hot beverage. <laughs> that's, they learned something from McDonald's. Hot beverage. And that, that's, that's it right there. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, it's a good point. So I'm gonna grind some coffee. Yeah. Let me stand up. Oh man. It's fun too. This is not terrible. <laughs> this is a pleasant grinding experience. And it's, it's more like of a natural, you know, like arm yeah, movement versus... It is versus, way better than this. Yeah. This is, this is, and it, the, the throw on it's a ton more because like, if I was doing a v, uh, my, my skirting from Haria, which I love, just to get this much coffee in, I would be here for at least five minutes. Yeah, you're gonna work for that coffee. Yeah. And if you don't have a lid on the top of it, beans are gonna fly everywhere, so your 21 grams is probably gonna come out to like 19, and then trying to do the math of adjusting your ratios, it's just awkward. Yeah. Nobody, nobody has time for that. So like, how is the, yeah, that grind is perfect. That's a perfect setting. Um, like, how's the, the ease of like cleaning this stuff? Is it easy to clean? Super it? easy, yeah. Um, Parts of it are dishwasher safe, so that's a bonus. I have yet to do that. I just hand wash everything. Yeah. Um, you can you can take the uh, the axle and the burr. You can loosen that up, get in there, really clean it. Um, I use a wire brush and just um, try to clean off as, uh, the burrs as best as possible. And then for the overall chamber. Um, just a wet cloth. I try not to use any type of soap or anything in there that that could possibly alter the taste. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's super easy to clean. The sticky part on the bottom, uh, it stops being sticky after a period of time because you know your counter and whatever just has sort stuff on it. Off, yeah. um, a simple rinse under the sink, let it air dry, you're good to go. And uh, I've done that numerous, numerous times and it's still ridiculously sticky. So, 
I'm, I'm a fan of that. Boom. I love this thing. Yeah, you can totally smell that from like this way. So like a good foot away and it just has a nice, nice dry aroma to it. Oh my gosh, yeah it does. Yeah. It's just chocolatey and beautiful. I'm really excited to review this. This is one of, like I said earlier, this is one of those coffees that we've had in our in our lineup since the beginning. And I, I, I hold a high opinion of this coffee because it's, it's our house coffee. Mm. It is literally the thing that if you don't know what you want, this is what we give you. I like that. And this is what, this is what changes your life. This so, is what, this is like the stepping stone. So you're saying if I walk in and I'm a clueless individual, Barry the barista is just gonna hand me a cup of this and tell me that I'm gonna enjoy it? Yes. Okay, yes. I like that. That is good. Um, so was this particular coffee roasted today? Because I see here on your packaging that this one is 1018. Oh, no, this okay. was this is roasted last week. Oh, so okay. Probably last Friday, right before Apple Fest. Cool, still. Yeah, so super fresh. Super fresh. Yeah. I roasted today, and that's why we have bags that are 1018. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, round two. Hot notes are there. Yeah, we, I love that too. <laughs> <laughs> And no matter how many cups of coffee I will drink, that hot note right up front is always the one where it's like, never learn. Yeah. Never, never learn. Yeah. It's like your <laughs> fingers are a little achy, like your tongue gets a little burnt, but not really burnt. Yeah. Because it's not hot enough to burn you. It's just hot enough to almost burn you. It has a super pretty color because mm -hmm. there's just a little bit of light coming through and it's you know, very uh, amber-like and so because um, it's too hot at the moment. <laughs> Um, which is good. Yeah, unlike it's not the, hot enough. Yeah, it's that opposite of it, so. Definitely has a super nice aroma. Chocolatey, a little earthy, a little musty. It does is, have, yeah. Um, so I don't know if it, it's a combination of the previous cup that we had and this one, but I am still getting uh, and I'm gonna be hung up on, you know, like the regions of my tongue that tell me different flavors and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this sits right on the sides of my tongue. Um, and, you know, that like soury acidi mm -hmm. acidity is really nice. Yeah. It's not puckering where you're like, it, yeah, it just yeah. cuts through. Well, one of the cool things about the Costa Rican um, coffee that's in this is it actually has this like lemon lime cranberry flavor that that will do that, that. that makes yeah. sense yeah and so what what balances it out is the chocolatey from the Sumatra the mm -hmm. earthiness from the Sumatra you know there's no acidity almost in a Sumatra coffee even yeah. this one which is like a little bit different but like this it's it's the coffee that like you walk in the door and mm -hmm. be like hey you want, you want your life changed today try this <laughs> Why this? <laughs> it's a life changer. Because like you said, most people have had coffee that's been sitting in a bag for six months yeah. in a truck, gets on a grocery store like shelf, and then sits for another two or three months, so you got coffee that's like eight months out from its roast date. Yep. Guess what? It's gonna be flat, it's gonna be stale, it's probably been ground like six, eight months before. True. Um, Freeze dried. Yeah, um, nitrogen flushed, who whatever. Knows? <laughs> and. Like it's just gonna be, it's gonna taste flat, it's gonna taste dead. The only notes you're gonna get are the notes of sadness. <laughs> like, so. Notes of sadness. So, so I don't like wanna to like. see that on the flavor wheel. Why didn't they put that in there? Come on, SCA. Notes of I, sadness. I think you might be able to find that in the, the lexicon that was just yeah, released. There you it go. might be a, like an appendix or an addendum or I something hope like so. that. I notes do. of sadness, tears, tears, gnashing of teeth. Those, those revelation kind of vibes. Yeah. You I, might find those. I like that. I do. You know, one, one of the things, I, I think I've said this a couple of times, uh, Indonesian coffees are a really good segue into yeah. specialty coffee um, for somebody that doesn't necessarily understand the, the complexities of coffee. Yeah. Um, it's a real, like my first 
real experience with coffee was a uh, an Indonesian um, monsoon Malabar. So oh. uh, yeah, which is a weird. It's a very, weird place. It's to a get weird a place to start. Coffee. It's yeah. a very. Um, it's a weird place to start, but the that with the sweetness of the Costa Rica really is a good balanced coffee and you know if I walked in for the first time and I don't know and I won't really care about all of the jargon mm -hmm. that comes with coffee this is a good place to start yeah. you say hey it tastes like chocolate yeah but yet it's also like a little bit sour yeah okay yeah, I don't really want to necessarily know all about the process that comes behind it and the altitude, which yeah. is really great to know. But yeah. don't bore me. Which I, I, which I want which, I want a life changer, not a history lesson which, or a geography lesson. To bore you just a little bit, this this coffee actually, um, the Sumatra is a is a wet mill, so washed ish. Okay. Yeah, the the, it, the the Sumatra style washed yeah. coffee, you know. And the Costa Rican's actually a honey process. Interesting. Yeah. Usually, I don't like blending anything that has a that's a honey process because it, it like speaks well on its own. Sure. Absolutely. But in this coffee, like it just it just works. It does. It works very well, and I can I understand how this is your flagship coffee, and it makes it just makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So, what would you drink this with? When would you drink this? So for me, um, this would be my morning cup. Yeah, it has it has enough flavor to really wake me up. Whereas, uh, and I think the part of that is it's that citrusy notes with the underlining of the chocolate sweetness that comes through. So that's what I look for in my morning cup of coffee. I don't drink coffee for the caffeine and like the jitters. I drink yeah. the coffee so that I can. Like, I can function as a human, yeah, yeah, which I guess comes with the caffeine. But I want something that's gonna kind of raise that eyebrow and go, "I wonder what that is this morning." Yeah. So this, for me, is a perfect morning cup. Oh yeah. Um, I also, I think it would be a really good dessert coffee too, paired with the right, yeah, with some, um, you know, not like a piece of cake. I don't know what it would be, but a good, a good dessert. I bet it would make a really good iced coffee too. Yeah, actually. I, I bet this would make a great iced coffee. Speaking of, oh, okay. our cold brew is made with this. But then there you go. <laughs> and you know, that totally makes sense. Um, because it's refreshing enough because of that citrusy lemon lime flavor. So cool it down, throw it on ice, add some deliciousness, have it come out of a tap and you got a really solid summertime drinkable cup of coffee yeah cool it's right on the mark man well cheers absolutely cheers hey there. Hey there.